So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today guys, I bring you yet another amazing XP, legendary, unique, gold farm, you name it guys, you can get that from this. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, to celebrate the launch of this amazing game, I'm giving one lucky person a chance to win the Ultimate Edition version. Simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Also, you want people to play with, you want to help others out, you need help, you want to share ideas on builds, you want to share your build, join my Discord, link below. Okay, so this dungeon is absolutely incredible for XP, it's incredible for gold, it's incredible for that loot, that was a legend that is unique. And if you look at it guys, it's actually just a short dungeon. That's basically where it ends, that's the bus. But we don't want to do the bus. Ignore the bus. All we want to do guys is run this route. It takes me on my work in progress uh, necromancer build about 7 minutes to do this. I mean, but there's so many, and that's what you want. You want those ads, you want those high level ads all grouped up and bunched up in those massive quantities. Well, that's what this dungeon offers, it really does. It's a great, great uh, farm for everything you need. Now, I'm not sure how long this will be in the game. Uh, you know what they're like, They, they, you know they're watching us. Anything that takes off, they go ahead and nerf. This one probably will get nerfed because the amount of ads you can kill in this short time is unbelievable so yeah it's great for everything you want in regards to a Diablo 4 farm now the quarry is located where well, the first second quarry is located right here on the map so come here guys come solo it's actually probably better solo if I'm honest with you well, it's probably a better one of the better solo farms because a lot of the farms in this game are quite a party this can be done easily solo that's the great thing about this. So it's probably the better or one of the better solo farms out there. But yes, you can see where it is on the map right here, guys. So come here, run the dungeon, run to the end. I wouldn't take out the boss. I'm not sure if that messes up any of the spawns if you come back and do this. I don't know. But once you've done this, guys, once you've farmed the heck out of this, got that gear, all you want to do, guys, is if you're on console, press up on your D-pad and you select leave dungeon or go to the map and leave dungeon. From here, guys, we're going to quit out of the game. So we're going to leave the game. But make sure we actually spawn outside of the dungeon first. So we're here, guys. Now you just want to press back, go across the game, come down to leave game. Now we am on the Xbox Series X and the fastest of loading times will be quicker on PC. But last gen, forget about it. Okay, so I'll load back in, guys. And this is great as well. I mean, you want to do this on a world tier 3, obviously where the best loot drops or world tier 3 upwards i'm only doing it on a world tier 2 other than i've unlocked a world tier 3 i'm doing it on a world tier 2 just to get easy xp games and just to demonstrate to you for this video but yes i do recommend you doing this on a world tier 3 once you've got it unlocked but yes you spawn back in right outside the dungeon simply guys go back in it really is this simple nothing hard about this whatsoever and just run this farm i mean there's so many ads in here they're all grouped up. I'll show you a quick demonstration. So it's going to run down here. I'll kill the first bunch. I don't want to run the whole thing and make the video 20 minutes long. As you do. Short but sweet is what we do, guys. Short but sweet. I did not see that chest the first time. Probably wasn't there. I'm, I'm just an idiot. But this does, as you know, the RNG of these rotate. But you can see here, guys. There's ads there. There's ads there. Bring them all together. Bring them all together. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. And then we just drop, we just drop that shit and take everything out. Now this is a Necromancer build I am working on. So if you're a Necromancer and you're struggling, I kind of know the feeling to be honest. I mean, I've played Necromancer from day one and I've tried all kinds of builds. What, I've, what I have right now, it is still work in progress, but it is brutal and it's great. So yeah, well, yeah guys, as I said, there's a lot, this, this dungeon is full of ads that group up like that there's a loads of them so yes take advantage of this while you can and while it's still in the game because like i said you know blizzard are watching people you know blizzard are watching people they don't like us taking advantage of their game and its systems they nerf these things so yeah do it while you can guys do it while you can but yeah there we have it guys a short but sweet video an amazing dungeon farm 
for solo players or team players if you're in a group. I mean, it works just as good in that, but again, if you're a solo player, this is probably one of the better ones out there. Especially if you're still trying to reach that level 52. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Actually, if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.